I'm John Simon, a member of the board for Farmers for Lake Country. I farm on the end of the Oconomowoc River. I have a grain farm. My presentation today is on cost sharing for no-tilling, for putting fertilizer in with strip tilling, and for aerial application of cover crops. And I hope you enjoy our presentation. What I'd like to say with Don is not only take a card and fill it out, but give these to your friends, your neighbors, your landlords, because uh, most of us are renting land as well as owning land. And it uh, can be a real benefit if your landlords are tied into this so that they understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. The no strings cost share is, uh, like Don says, this is above and beyond what the NRCS has, what uh, the city of Oconomowoc has to, this is an incentive to help cover the cost so that more people will try these products. What you, all you need to do is, uh, Daryl's name is in, the, in your handouts, request a number of acres to be implemented, provide a field map and a copy of the invoice and get paid. It doesn't get much simpler than that. The cost share funding programs are these. The first is a no-till program. It's for farmers that are in the watershed. It's a cost share for a new practice, not an ongoing practice, a new practice. The first time no-till planting. It must be on fields that are not currently on no-till and the benefits are there, the soil health, uh, the, the earthworms, uh, the water retained up to two inches, which if we get dry uh, later in the summer could be a real benefit. It's a bottom line profit, reduce uh, the weed germination, increased yields, so on. The cost share is $15 an acre for equipment rental. We show a corn planter here. If you haven't no-tilled before, we want you to be successful. My uh, recommendation would be follow a soybean field, either put wheat in, cover crops, uh, rye, uh, any of the cover crops after silage, particularly we'd like to see the silage ground covered. Mother Nature isn't a nudist. She's going to do something with that ground. Anytime we scratch the dirt, the first thing is a weed, a weed species, that's Mother Nature's scab to heal the dirt. So let's do that. Uh, a no-till drill to put cover crops in to even seed alfalfa is great. And if you can follow a soybean ground, that's the easiest thing to do to have success to get started. The other cost share funding that we have is strip till fertilizer, fertil easy for me to say, fertilizer application. What we're trying to do here is to get the phosphorus into the dirt, not lay it on top and spread it around. Now, if you've been no-tilling for a while, you saw the earlier slides with the earthworm holes and all that, that's mother's nature plow to get things into the dirt. But if you haven't no-tilled, it's best to have the phosphorus into the ground. So by using a strip-till machine with fertilizer, either in the fall or in the spring, you have reduced soil loss, reduced labor cost, soil moisture conservation, and strategic application nutrients, getting them in the ground. <coughs> Again, that's a $15 per acre for equipment rental. Now, what you've noticed so far in these slides is we don't care where you rent it from or whose equipment you use. So you can use your neighbor's equipment, you can rent from an equipment dealer, you, there might are a custom operator that does this sort of thing. We are not uh, advocating any one of those. Whatever fits your operation, it's your decision, you use. The other, the last one is um, cost sharing for new practice, the aerial seeding, the inner seeding or high boy cover crops. Uh, they alluded to what's going on in Green Bay with the high boy. I don't know if anyone around here is doing that. Uh, if, if there is, please let us know. Uh, again, by using the airplane, you're not disturbing the ground. You're getting the crops in timely. You can do more species on a cover crop, which uh, while a single species is beneficial, the more species you can put in, the more diversity there is, the better off you are. And you've got the allotrophic effects with some of the 
cover crops, reduce herbicides, pesticides, so on. The main thing we're looking at is we're trying to do with these processes is to increase the water quality, which for me is important because I'm on the end of the river. What happens up here, whatever happens in the watershed affects me, I'm in the last mile. And this is $25 for the cost sharing. The cost sharing is higher because the airplane costs are higher than what the other implements are. I strongly suggest that if we're going to put a program together, and I hope we make it to fruition, if we're going to do an airplane, we need to have a mass. We need to have a certain number of acres in order to make it work. And as Damon said, we need to do it early enough so we can do all the coordinating. So if you're thinking about doing this, again, please talk to your neighbors, talk to your landlords, talk to any of us, talk to Daryl, talk to Tom, Don, and let's put something together so we have enough of an acreage that we can use an airplane. With that, I don't know if I'm the last speaker or not. If, if I am, then I would like to thank everybody for being here today and hopefully you'd be able to use this in your operation. I would like to thank the sponsors for the lunch. Uh, that isn't a half hour, but we are running late. Don, if you have anything. 